Development of the EE-11 Yurutu Armored Personnel Carrier began in 1970. It was developed by NGSA. This Brazilian armored vehicle is named after a crossed pit viper. First prototype was built during the same year. Production of the EE-11 Yurutu commenced in 1974. Initially it was produced for the Brazilian Armed Forces. However soon the EE-11 Yurutu received some production orders from abroad. It was exported to Bolivia, Chile, Colombia, Cyprus, Ecuador, Gabon, Iraq, Libya, Morocco, Uruguay, and Venezuela. Around 1,500 vehicles of this type were built. This armored personnel carries has an ordinary twin-layer armor. The external layer is made of hard steel, while the internal armor features increased viscosity. A front-mounted engine also increases passive protection for the occupants. Front of the hull provides protection against armor-piercing bullets, while all-round protection is against small arms bullets, mine splinters and artillery fragments. The EE-11 Yurutu is fitted with an automatic fire suppression system, however NBC protection system was only optional. The EE-11 Yurutu is armed with a single 12.7mm machine gun mounted on top of the roof. There is a number of variants of the EE-11 fitted with various turret-mounted armament. The EE-11 armored personnel carrier has a crew of 1 and can carry 12 to 14 fully equipped troops. Troops enter and leave the vehicle through side or rear doors or roof hatches. There are a number of firing ports provided. Vehicle is powered by the Detroit Diesel 6V53T diesel engine, developing 260 horsepower. Some vehicles were fitted with a Mercedes-Benz OM32A diesel engine, developing 190 horsepower. This APC shares many automotive components with the EE9 Cascavel armored car that was developed alongside the EE11. The Yurutu has an unusual boomerang-type rear suspension. This suspension was developed by NGSA and also used on some other vehicles. Such suspension provides great off-road mobility. Vehicle is also fitted with a central tire inflation system. The EE-11 Yurutu is fully amphibious without any preparation. APCs intended for ground-forced are propelled on water by their wheels. Its maximum speed on water is only 2 km per hour variant of the Yurutu intended for marines is fitted with two water jets. It is much faster and can reach amphibious speed of 8 km per hour. In 1999 the Brazilian Army initiated a study to replace the EE-11 Yurutu armored personnel carrier, as well as the EE-9 Cascavel armored reconnaissance vehicle. At that time these armored vehicles were in service for nearly 25 years and were becoming outdated. In 2007 a contract was signed to develop a new Brazilian armored vehicle, known as the Yurutu 3. Development was complete in 2011. Eventually, the new Brazilian armored vehicle was renamed as the Guarani. In 2012 a first batch of these armored vehicles were ordered for the Brazilian Army. These were delivered between 2013 and 2014 and began to replace the EE-9 and EE-11. Full-scale production of the Guarani commenced in 2013. By 2019 a total of 400 Guarani armored vehicles were delivered to the Brazilian military. Variants Armored Ambulance Command Vehicle E9 Cascavel is an armored reconnaissance vehicle. It was developed alongside the Yurutu armored personnel carrier and shares many automotive components. Fire support vehicle with a 90mm turret, as fitted on the EE9 Cascavel. Mortar carrier, fitted with 81mm mortar. Mortar carrier, fitted with a turret-mounted 60mm mortar. Anti-aircraft vehicle with twin 20mm cannons. Recovery vehicle. Logistics vehicle, with a cargo capacity of up to 2T. This vehicle retains its amphibious qualities even fully loaded. Internal security vehicle, fitted with obstacle clearing blade and armed with a 7.62mm machine gun. E11VE is a Venezuelan upgraded version of the Yurutu. It has a bulky add-on armor kit for improved amphibious capabilities. It is fitted with a new turret and there are a couple of turret variants, fitted with automatic cannons or machine guns. These armored vehicles are used by Venezuelan Marine Corps.